And then we rolling. All right. Well, good morning, guys. You see, I got a nice little present today. Now, being that I never order stuff from online, I am 100% sure what's in this box, but I figured I'd unbox it and be surprised just for y'all's enjoyment, I guess. I don't know. How do y'all enjoy that? Okay. Oh, let's see what we got. Number one, double layered. So we got another box. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's, let's take a look at that, eh? Mmm. I'm liking what I see over here. Now, at first glance, you're going to be like, man, Jake, that's just a knockoff deeper. And honestly, if I, uh, if it, if it weren't for me filming off this little device right here, I would have a deeper or a dive bobber. I instead bought this thing, and here is why. So like I said, on a deeper or a eye bobber, you have to be on your phone, and it goes to the app. But being that um, I film off my phone, I kind of need it for different purposes. So it came with this little sucker. It is basically a handheld screen that you like put on your boat and stuff. Let's, let's see if anything's in there. Whoa, that's bright. Okay, so first glance, let's, let's turn that bright. Yep, there it is. Got some depth along the side there, so that helps. Battery's not looking too sharp. And then, of course, got important elements to um, finding fish. Depth, and then uh, water temperature. Very important, especially for this time of year. It says, thank you. Very nice. This is a very nice fish finder. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll actually charge this thing. But we are not going to use it anytime soon. So this is going to be a really long, drawn-out video. I mean, I'm not going to say anything's impossible, but, um, I don't know. I really don't want to fish in that. I do want to watch these birds, though. I mean, it gives me something to do, outdoor-related. Bunch of juncos and little house sparrows. Anyway. The next portion of this video will be filmed a couple weeks from now. So, we'll see you there. Oh, look at those clouds. Smackaroonies. Let's just get going. I want to see if this works. All right, my apologies in advance for this thing swinging in front of the camera every now and then. I'm gonna try my best not to do that. But yeah, all I got is this is a actual sonar device on my little bait caster, and uh, I know for sure there's a pipe right here. I'm just gonna see if it picks it up. Maybe, maybe there'll be a fish on there. There is a fish at 10 feet. Holy cow! About 10 feet deep, there's a fish at 3 foot. Might be some little minnows or whatever, but other than that, it's pretty much a wasteland. Oh, now we're getting over to the pipe. A couple of fish at three, right around 3 feet. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it just caught that pipe. But yeah, that's, that's what we're working with. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Very hard to see, but... Let's see, I don't, I don't know if that's worse, but... Anyway, about 3.6 is what I'm sitting at right now, just about right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know. I hope I hope the glare's not terrible, but I don't know. That's really cool. All right, so we're at this next drainage pipe. We're gonna see if we can find it. Oh, look at that! Nine point four, nine point five. Coming up, forty-eight point four. This is the warmest water I found. Forty-eight point forty-seven point eight. We're getting shallower, of course. Deep. Oh, oh, fish at six and a half. Six point two. Picked up something right there. 46 degree water temp. There were some fish out there though. Okay. A little bit farther. Oh, halo. We landed. Oh my gosh. Right at nine foot. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? We're in 11 foot of water. There's fish suspending at nine foot. Look at that, another one. Oh, we hit a mother load, boys. Look at that. Right out there. Now it could be two things. It could be one, actual fish, and then the other thing it could be is just suspending debris from the windstorm there night, which I don't know. It could be a turtle as well. I see a turtle right there too. So look at all those fish. You don't see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear the glare is probably gonna kick my butt in this video, but I mean still there's a lot of fish out there. Found the mother load mother load boys. So, as for what I think about this thing, obviously you can tell I am very impressed with the thing. But I'm even more impressed that we actually located fish um, in a very 
difficult place to fish in the winter. The, the picture shows up really well. I know you can't see it. Y'all probably can't see it because of the glare, but the picture is really definitive and uh, the sensitivity worked great. We, we still detect it. We didn't have a lot of false positives, which is very common in lots of uh, cheap sonars because they'll, they'll you know, translate dust and stuff as, uh, like, you know, lots of particles falling in the water as actual fish. So sensitive, the, there were no false positives, which was really good, really worth the money. The only uh, couple of downsides I have, one, it was, uh, we had that one little glitch there, but all it took was a little uh, tw uh, pop the rod and then uh, temperature and the depth are back on so it, it just took a couple of pops and the the battery life on the actual screen little handheld device it's already halfway uh, dead so the battery life is not ideal although it is 35 degrees out here right now so that could con contribute to this but the battery on the sensor is is still 100% which is really good for a proper view, you gotta see if this sucker catches fish. There's, there's, to catch fish, you gotta locate them, and you gotta find out what they're gonna eat. That's how you're gonna catch fish. So with this thing, it takes the locating part out of it. You literally just look at your screen and see if there's fish or not. So that part is really crucial. However, that the catching part, figure out what they're gonna eat is, I don't know. It's hard right now because I could have, I could have caught those fish and made a really cool video but it would have been very difficult considering that they were suspended two or three foot above the bottom because you know carpet corn and stuff on the bottom so you have to get like really complicated with like zig rigs pop-up boilies all all the technical stuff and uh, i think that would have been a pain in the butt which makes which brings me to the point this like sucks in the weird time because there's nothing on the bottom they can relate to it's obviously flat and there's a whole lot of nothing so when they're suspended like that, they're really, really tough to catch. Even if you do find a good spot like that, where they are kind of bunched up in, in little packs, but they're suspended, so they can't see your bait that well on the bottom. But we will for sure go fishing with it, and we will find something. But um, it's obviously not ideal conditions. So we're going to wait till the weather warms up a bit, get back to a regular uh, fall swing, and then we'll get back out on the water. So make sure to subscribe, for one. Make sure to like this video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more because we are going to use that thing and we're going to catch a whole bunch of fish. We'll see you next time. And Welcome to another intro in the car. I got a couple good hours, to, or actually it's less than two hours now, but we got some time to kill and I have not tested out that product yet. I've only tested out once actually, I lied. Uh, went to Greenways, caught a couple of bullheads using the thing, so... You know, if you want to see those, just go hop over on Fish Brain. Make sure to follow me. Link is right along here. Yeah, that wasn't worth making the video over. So hopefully today we can make a video over it. We're at we're at Medi Park too. It's pretty much everyone's like sought after fishing destination in Amarillo. So use sonar, sonar, find some good spots, and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe because you can. You, I'm showing you these spots. So you better thank me and subscribe. So let's get started. Just right here, it's four feet deep, which is deeper than most of the lake I've covered already. All right, let's get those numbers in. Yep, fish, fish, fish right there. Yep, yep, hear it? That's the fish alarm going off. Dang, that was, that was quick. I'm not gonna be able to see it, but I'm sure y'all can. Jeez, they're stacked in this spot. Okay, I got an idea. They're suspended in eight feet of water, a couple feet off the bottom, so about six feet. Put a jig underneath a six foot bobber. Oh, baby, this is just gonna be minty if this works. I'm excited for this, boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, fish, 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 fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, um, yeah, that did not happen. There's a, there's a hit. Wow, that's a hit. Got him. I got him. On the jig. 
on the jig on the jig buddy dude on the jig baby it's a channel cat 100 percent bro yes sir and get him on the grass yes sir bro that's what i'm talking about now quit doing that look right in the hook in the jaw or in the roof of the mouth is what i'm trying to say how about that so we located the sucker on the fish finder and we figured out they were suspended so first fish of the day comes suspended under a bobber your the point is proven my dude so we'll see you later you're a bit too tiny to keep anyway but uh yeah good good stuff it works so it obviously locates some fish and it i wouldn't have thrown a bobber if i didn't have it so it does work it helped me catch one channel cat oh hello drop back drop back look at that Imagine about to close out and this line just suddenly goes heck slack. Anyway, I don't know, that was weird. Definitely got distracted a bit, but anyway, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you next time. A bad day of fishing beats a good day of anything, yeah.